Every delegate who had voted on July 2nd knew Tom Paine's arguments backwards and forwards. Richard Henry Lee certainly did, and he wrote that April of 76 that no state in Europe will either treat or trade with us so long as we consider ourselves subjects of Great Britain. We won't be able to make treaties, we won't be able to trade with anyone in Europe except Britain if we are still subjects of Great Britain. Indeed, two months later, when Richard Henry Lee wrote his June 7th resolutions, he didn't just propose independence in that resolution, he actually proposed two other things in the larger language. He also proposed to prepare and digest the form of a confederation and offered a third resolution to draw up a plan for forming foreign alliances. So in the same breath that we say, how about independence? We're saying, how about foreign alliances? These two things are the same thought. <clears throat> Seen in that context then, the declaration itself is a means to an end. And everyone at the time understood this, even if today we sometimes do not. On its own, Congress's proclamation could not make the colonies free and independent. But maybe with France's help, it could. This is why the delegates had their declaration translated into French immediately. It's why they sent copies addressed to King Louis XVI of France and King Carlos II of Spain on the first ship bound for Europe four days later on July the 8th. It's why they had them published in European newspapers. It's why the Congress authorized John Adams to draw up a list of talking points for negotiations with France within days. It's why Congress dispatched Benjamin Adams to Benjamin Adams? It's why Congress dispatched Benjamin Franklin to Paris later that fall.